Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. We're checking out expeditions around the world. From Super Meeple. Yes. This game plays two to six players and has a box play time of 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. So in expeditions around the world, you are basically leading three different simultaneous expeditions around the world in order to reach your secret objectives and perhaps some of the common objectives. So thanks to Hachette for providing us this copy of Expeditions Around the World, but they didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. They give it to us because they know we like to play all, all the games. games. So let's go ahead and take a look at this while I teach you all the rules. Before we get into it, th what? this is a remake or a redo of Safari Wildlife, which I never played. Wildlife but... Safari? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Take it, reverse it. <laughs> From Wolf Game Kramer. <laughs> so a lot of these mechanics are probably very similar to that game. They probably changed a few things. but I... This game also by Wolf Game Kramer. That's what I said. You said... No, we said Wildlife Safari. Oh, it's just, it's the same design. It's Which is same. why. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you're just confusing it. No. Let's take a look. So, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to shuffle up all the cards and you're going to deal out 12 per player in a two or three player game. Goes to uh, your hand. And in a uh, four, five, or six player games, you're going to deal nine cards to each player. You're also going to deal six cards into the common objective pool. You have to make sure that none of them have a little ring around. Uh, up here in the corner, there's a little, there's a little ring. It's really hard to see actually since. This is light green. All of these uh, continents are light green, so it's really hard to see on the green screen. However, you might be able to see a double bullseye there. Um, you want to make sure that none of your cards in the common objective pool have this double bullseye. Well, what does that mean? Well, here is where we are starting from, and you cannot start within three spaces of that. It has to be at your common objectives have to be at least three paths away. So I can't have any in my hand. That's not what I said. Okay. You can't have any right here. Okay. If any uh, have the double bullseye around it, you know, a circle inside a circle, take them out, deal out, deal out a new one until there are six that do not have that. Um, obviously, each player is going to take a color. You're going to take your big disc, which basically just tells who you are, and four little discs, which look just like this. So, starting with the start player, which is Steph, we're going to take turns choosing one of our cards from our hand that does not contain a double bullseye too close to the start, and we will reveal four of them. Steph reveals one, I reveal one, Steph reveals one, I reveal one, until we have four on the map. So Steph knows approximately where I want to go. I know approximately where Steph wants to go. I am, I am concentrated. She's all out. So um, now you'll notice we have blue, red, and yellow arrows. Uh, these are cool little plastic arrows, and these are going to be uh, the expeditions that we are taking, and they're starting off from this middle spot. So, um, on your turn, uh, you are going to... Now, these are not any one player. Even though Steph is red, nine blue, these are not my arrows. But on your turn, you're going to take any of these color arrows, and you are going to advance any one expedition. You could advance the blue, or the red, or the yellow. And we are starting, like I say, from the compass rows. Um, if the expedition you choose has not been started yet, you can start it off just like so. Now, it would be Steph's turn if I were to do that, and she can extend the route from Athens, or she can start a red or a yellow from the compass rows. Um, 
if Steph were to choose the one from Athens, she could go to Tim Gad or Giza or Petra. She cannot double back like this. Uh, Steph can take a red or a yellow and go like this. She can have the same color going to Athens. Or if for some reason, you know, she were coming back to somewhere, she can have the arrow, a different color arrow going back. You can have one of each color on each lane, on each path. So, um, the uh, all three expeditions are independent, so it doesn't really matter um, which one of these you take. Um, if all of the arrows of an expedition have been placed, you have to choose something else. So, once you advance your expedition, it's going to uh, connect to one of the three type of spots. Notice all of the green spots are locations. All of the blue and red are called hubs. So, if it's a location, it might match someone's objective. If that happens, that player announces it, puts it face up in front of them, even if it's not their turn. And if the location had a token on it, the owner also collects the token and puts it on the card. If you notice on a later turn that you've already gone through an objective, for example, if Steph were to go to Petra and I, were, I was like, oh, wait, I've got Athens. It's too late for me. I have to wait until an arrow comes around and touches Athens. Yeah. I can't announce it so when it's passed. The thing to do is when you go somewhere on your turn, you say, I'm going to Athens. Petra or Athens. Pat yeah. And then everybody checks their cards. Correct. So there's a lot of places. Now, if it matches a common objective, hey, that's good for me. I uh, will take that card and place it in front of me. Actually, I don't need these face up in front of me because I have not gone there yet. Yeah, these, those are my four. Yeah. So, then reveal a new card from the expedition deck. So there are always six out. Um, if it is a blue square hub, you can immediately add another arrow to any of the three expeditions. It doesn't have to be the one you place. So if I place here, I could then place here. Or I could place a new, another blue one if I wanted to. And then it will apply that spot. So if I were to, if this were already there and I placed the blue there, I could then place the red here. And then I can, th I could then place something else somewhere else. You, every time you place it touching a blue, you get to take another expedition turn. If it matches a star, you'll collect a ticket. And you can use up to two tickets on your turn. What do tickets allow you to do? Well, you could add an additional arrow to an expedition of your choice. It's just the same as if you had touched a blue square. We start off with three tickets, but you can get more. You could remove the last arrow from an expedition of your choice. So if things were like this to the Caspian Sea, I could remove this arrow. And then if the new end of the expedition matches a blue or a red, or in fact a green, if for some reason my Athens problem happened, I can then apply the effects of this blue, which would mean, hey, I get to go Again, look, now I'm going to Zagorsk. Wow. Or I could place a red or a yellow. You guys get it. You can swap an expedition card. Swap one of your expedition cards with a new one from the deck. Highly recommend that if somebody is trying to actively avoid your final <laughs> destination <laughs> and they know where it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Highly. Uh, you can discard a card for a key location, but guess what? You still have to leave uh, this uh, key expedition token on the map. So, um, so to do that, you're going to oh, actually draw two cards from the deck. Choose one to keep in your hand, then tuck the other card under the deck 
along with the card you want to discard from your hand. You could discard the two you draw, leaving the one in your hand. That's true. So here is a really cool part about this game. Let's say we, we've gone along, da, 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 just like this. Oh, hey, I get to do another one. Hey, da, 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 da. going around. This thing comes around and you force a loop. You have now forced a loop. Um, Probably should have used yellow. Oh, because it's hard to see. Well, they can see this now forms a loop. Okay. At this point, um, first, what you need to do is you need to place a new arrow from any spot that expedition has visited. Um, so I can do something like this. Heading out to Xi'an. Now, the Blue Expedition is going to Xi'an, which Steph wants. That's great. That's great for Thanks. you. So, if Steph had, had forced that loop, she could then come out like that. If this had also been a blue square, like if, or if we had gone all the way around and connected up that blue square, first she does the extra, then she does the blue square. The extra has to be blue. You can't just leave it in a loop state like yeah. this. <laughs> Has to be blue. Your blue square can go anywhere. So, um, the game will end when someone has placed the last expedition card from your from their hand, or when all the arrows are on the map. And yes, it can actually happen. Finish the round so everyone gets the same number of turns. Just pass if you can't do anything. You're going to get one point for every card in front of you. You're going to get one card per token you collect. You are going to lose a point per card still in your hand, and you're going to lose a point for every token out here still on the map. So basically, points and points. Yeah. And that is all the rules. For those in the chat, you can vote for who you think is going to win. Spend those awesome channel points. And who's first? Uh, I remember that was you. Me. Remember you, you got placed your first. Great. It flipped your coin and it flipped Rachel's coin. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with this. What? You're going to Thing Valir? Hey, guess what? You got, you have it? I have a Thing of Valir. You have a Thing of Valir. It goes with Nid of Valir. It does. It's an expansion. It's expansion. Oh, I got to see what I got here. That's all she wrote. Is I'm not going to use any tickets. What? I'm gonna see what happens. Um, uh... Thing of Valir, Iceland, Europe. Yes. Thing of Valir National Park is one of Iceland's most famous sites from 930. Would you like to show your card? I'm just reading it. That's what I'm saying. Would you let you show it so people can see the cool card? Every, every card has the location. You can see where it is up here, and it's got some flavor text down below. Woo. Yeah, I should have sorted my cards so to at least be in the same region. Mine are just a jumbled mess. Yeah, mine too, which is why I want to sort of sort them a little bit. These are the four that she knows where they are. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go here. It you. you did all that. I did those. Not, not really happy about that. So mm, sorry. Question. Oh, you went to Athens. You didn't announce yourself. Uh, Athens. Thanks. That's me. No. Ho, ho. Yep. Sorry. Not sorry. I'll even help you. I'll go to Giza. That does help me. I got Giza. Ish. What? You crazy? <laughs> but that's pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately. Pretty good for somebody. Mm. 
And I will place here. Whoops. Red. How about what red? Does matter. And then, oh, look, ticket. That's a Sahara. Yeah, Sahara, do you have it? No. And then I'm going to Kush because I'll spend a ticket because you know I've got Kush. I do. There's some Kush right Cushion. there. Mm -hmm. More Kush for the push. I will just simply go up to Svalbard. Svalbard? Yeah. No, nope, don't like it. Well, that's cool. One says, this is a classic game that I never played with you, by the way. Just saying. Take your time. You did that. Yep, going nowhere. And you're done. Yeah, that's what they say. I guess I'm going to go there. I have it. You had it? Putorana. Plateau. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm... I'm okay. This is not working. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Going to Zagorsk. Whoa. That is right here. And using a ticket, which goes here. Oh, look, it's a ticket. And I formed a loop. Going to Novosibirsk. Wow. I have Novosibirsk. Uh -huh. Okay. And spending my second ticket. What? I should probably do it. I don't know what you're doing, but sure. I can spend two tickets a turn. Yeah, no. That goes there. That's this. I go here to the Great Wall. What? That is right here. And I'm fairly sure that we can then have bullets come up. The only time they can't is on the initial deal. Yes, that is correct. Why do you do that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hmm. Ruiner? Yeah. How do I fix this? Don't know. Michael! Uh... Alright. How do I fix this? Don't know. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to go to Mount Fuji, which I have. Fujo. And then? And then you have tickets. Yeah, I got to. You got to. Let's go. Let's go. That gives you a ticket. And I'm going to immediately spend it. To go. Notice that the stars, she's connected up to here. I know. You went to Bering Strait. Before it gets too far out of my control. Well, guess what? What? Tell me to call <laughs> because I have it. <laughs> Are you doing anything else? I'm thinking. Processing. Nope, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, all day long I help you out. I like that. I don't know which one I should do, though. Mm. That's the question. Mm. I'm going to go here. Do you have What's that? that? Saka. Mm. No. I'm spending no. a ticket. What? No, sorry. I'm. Oh, I guess it's too late. Why is it too late? I'm gonna go. You're gonna make a loop. So I immediately place another one. Yes, that's correct. Which then I immediately place another one. 
Going to Xi'an. I guess what? I have it. What? It's amazing how that works. It's crazy. I got problems. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, you do. Well, I see, Dan, I didn't have Wildlife Adventure ever played. I don't think I've played it. Like, I've seen it played, but I don't think I played it. It's probably a bad move for me. I am going to go ahead and go to Verunga because you know I have it. Yeah, I was debating on removing one of those red. Yeah, pads. that's that's why I did it, and I am not done. He's not done. No. I can spend two tickets. I'm not spending two tickets. I am. I'm done. Mm hmm. How many do you got? How many cards you got? This man. You got five? Wow, I'm dead. Me? In trouble. Yes, you. All right. Well. I'm going to spend a ticket to remove this. What's that? Blue arrow. Wow. Place it here. Wow. And get a ticket back. Yeah. And I'm going to spend a ticket. Whoa. To go. Here. And then. And then again. Go there. I'll take this. That's Papua. Oh, it has a circle. Is that okay? No, it's, I, I did mention that that's fine. Okay. It's only on setup. Easy for you to get. Nope. Nope. Going to Sulawesi. Yeah, yeah. Does anybody have it? No. Anything else? Nope. That's it for you, huh? Yep. That's cool. So cool. No reason I'm going to help you out. I understand, but it is what it is. Mm. All I do by uh, going here is to... No, I'm not saying you should go there. Oh, I'm not going there. Okay, so I will... Go here, get a ticket, use my ticket to go here. Uh, you're going to do it anyway. Oh, well, yeah. I'm getting a ticket, and I close it. So I close it, and I'm going to go here. Boo. I have to. Yeah, you do. But I made you do a lot of Arn wriggling so I can go to Great Barrier Reef, which is right here. I was debating on going there anyway, but... Poof. Machu Picchu. Huh? Ah! I screwed up. Why? Dang it. There's a Sulawesi sitting right there. Yeah, you can have it, Sren. I'll be nice if you want. Uh, if you want to give it to me, I'll take it. Asterisk. Definitely. This game is an asterisk. Definitely asterisks. And now there's Perth, which is here. <clears throat> but you can go over to it if you want. I'm never going to get to that one over there. Ridiculous. I've got a lot of ungettable ones.
Mm-hmm. That's bad. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take a nap. Done. Seems good. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I am going to go here, spend a ticket, go here, get my Tasmania. Mm. Look and see what I've got here. Thinking, processing. I think I'm going to have a lot left over in my hand. Sure. Second ticket. Perth. Uluru! Oh, guess what? Hey, guess what? I'm doing that. How about that? I'm going to spend a ticket. Let me see what this is. Arapuana. Spending a ticket to close this off. And then do what? And then go up to Rapa Nui. Did I already spend? I spent one ticket. You spent a ticket. So I'm spending another one. To go Wait, through. do I want to? You will not be able to spend a third. I know. So I'm just going to... I'll be done. You can go. Not good. None of these options help me out. Mistakes have been made. I just want to make it difficult for you spending the ticket immediately to go to Machu Picchu. Yep. Because I really, I don't have any other play. I'm a Taco. I guess I'll spend a ticket to remove that line and, and put it. No, that's what I. My... Do you get a ticket? Uh, yeah, because you remove it to get to a ticket spot. Yeah. Figured that's what you would do. I need to get there, so. Mm hmm And then I'm done for that. Del Fuego. Wow. That's the only way I can win. It's picking up the extra crap points. Timbuktu. It's over there. Which comes after Timbuk one. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. I always got all the dad jokes, Delphia. Yeah. Ah, why is this hard? I mean, we've really only used two expeditions. <laughs> Yellow, we're like, eh, eh, whatever. Yeah. You really made it difficult, you know? I uh, tried. Really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. This is what's happening. I am going to go get a ticket. Get a ticket. And use the ticket to continue that that way. Getting a free, putting, closing this loop. No, stuff. I need to go to Galapagos Islands right there. No, uh, that's not Galapagos. From the Red Star. I know. I got it. Boom. Who earns? Mm. I'm never going to get those. In the water. No place to get anything. Uh, just everything helps you. Whoa. I know. Guess I'm just going here. Victoria Falls. That's it. That's it. Okay. I'm going to use a ticket to remove that blue line yeah and i get, hey, a look, ticket. You get a ticket i'm gonna instead go up to timbuk to uh, to walk to to walk in yep and grab this thing yeah and i'll spend a tick another ticket to grand canyon yeah i got the grand canyon i bet you do <laughs> here's another one of these if it changes your mind it might don't hinge. Oh. Nope, doesn't change my mind because I have to go here to get a ticket. And that encloses a loop. For Does you. it? Yeah. There is a way out of there. I think it does, though. Yeah. So here's my ticket. I get the loop. Go to Emma River. Whoa. Yep, I needed it. Don't want to spend a ticket. We are running out of blue lines. No, 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 no that's intentional. Uh huh.
Well, you've got all four of your tokens, so I need to do something about that. I'm going to have to pick it, pick it to Sana. Because mm. mm. I had it. Yeah, I know. It's annoying. I know. Dang it. I do. I don't have a ticket, which is the problem. Yep. I also feel that pain. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess Petra, do you have it? Mm -hmm. Nope. Me? Yep. I think I have to do this. There closes it. There gives me a ticket. Can't. Yeah, I just got to go straight to it because you know I've got it. I do. Indeed, now you've got it. Yeah. Yep. I'm just gonna close that and then, and then and then go get this ticket. Get the ticket. All right, do something important or not. <laughs> You have one left. Yeah. It's very hard. Certainly there is a blue I can come off of. I don't know. Depends on what you need. 
I'm doing this, I think. Here to get a ticket to spend. I'm gonna go here and then here, which gives me a ticket, but I've closed. Mm -hmm. So I need to do this to get Timgad, which I have. Okay. Spending my second ticket. Yeah. To go here. Wow. And here to Canary Islands because I have it. I have one card left. God, you're so annoying. I am the worst. You don't even know. Mm -hmm. You are annoying. <laughs> can't do what I was going to do now because you. Because me. Can't make a circle with red. If I removed in it, if I remove that yeah. red, and would I get yes. a free action? Yes. Mm. You get a free placement somewhere. Uh huh. I see. So annoying. Ha 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 ha. So annoying. You can probably find a way to make it work. Oh, I can make it work. I just had a better play. Otherwise. Oh, greedy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. thinking so I did that. Maybe you're greedy. Yeah. What about it? There's nothing about it. All right. Well, I got. Oh, well, maybe I can't do it. What? There's only two blue. Mm, yeah, there's only two blue. Yeah, that's not going to work. So now what? Yeah, I also need more than two to get mine done. So, so like, you know. My next play is super boring. Yeah, it's so boring. All right, well, I think my best play is this. What? That gives you a ticket. Hey, guess what? I'm going to use that ticket to go to Timbuktu. Hey, I got the Timbuktu card. That's it. And then oh, I'm, equal number turns. That would be good. I didn't end it. What? I took this card for tip. Oh. I'm spending my second ticket. Does this change you? Maybe. Mount Everest probably won't change you. Oh. Uh, I might have with blue, but yeah. My, sec my last ticket, my second yes. ticket is this, which is going to enclose red. Which yes. is going to go out here to Babylon, which gets me this card. Now you can go. Now there's Persepolis. Persepolis. Can't get there. That ruins me. <laughs> How do you like it? Mm. Mm, I don't. I don't. Not having a ticket is a bummer. Yep. We're like, yellow? What's yellow? I'm about to place a yellow because I can't really do anything else. Well, I guess I can do this and take that from you. Go here and go here and take that. Take that. Because mm. I can't do the other. Oh, now Newfoundland. There's your chance. Nope. I'm just going to end it. Go here. Harappa. My last place. Well, then I go to Newfoundland. Yeah. 
and grab it. And I have no I mean, other ticket, so it doesn't matter. It's it's the other road. You don't know. I do know. Woohoo! All right, that's it. Hey, Barry. So, 5, 10, 15, 19, 18, 22. 21. Whoa! I did it? You picked up enough along the way. Ow. 19, 23, minus 1 is 22. Yep, I barely did it. Uh, that was... I thought you had me all day. Like, I had that for the... Obviously, the whole game. If I had dug to um, Niagara Falls, it's like way over here. Or Angel Falls. Where's Angel? Where he at? It's bad, bad, and bad. I mean, I was hoping I would be able to work red, but then you're like way over there. I'm like, oh, you ruined this. This works two players. Well, yeah. I think I, I like it a little bit more with two than with six. So six because you don't have enough control. I think with six. Yeah, so we played with six, didn't we? We played with the full count of six. I think probably three is a good spot. Three seems like it would. Three or four. Three or four. I yeah. mean, it would probably be the best. I mean, two worked fine, but having you know another player work with yellow might have made it a little more strategic plays with you know how you enclose things and. But really, in this game, you're up to try and control one route and then control another route, like we did with blue and then red. Just because... Or you could control routes. No. Just... Never control routes. It's root. What plants are you controlling? No, you control the roots on the board. But yeah. Anyway. Long, long standing joke. Anyway, that is Expeditions Around the World. And if you enjoyed this teach and playthrough and you want to see more just like it, you can join us on YouTube at BoardGamerStef or even better... You can join us on twitch.tv slash boardgamersteph every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we stream three games or more every single stream. So come join us on Twitch, and you can uh, participate in the chat and watch us as we play all, all the, the games. games. Yeah, so that took us 50 minutes, including Teach. So that was really fast. 50? Yeah. Not bad. Teach and play through. So yeah, uh, for those on Twitch, we will be right back.